You are never gonna believe this because I literally can't, can't believe this. It is March 25th, technically. Um, really early in the morning, or 3 a.m. My water broke. My water broke. Like, broke. Like, thought I peed myself a little bit, woke myself up, was like, well, that was embarrassing. Went to the bathroom. <laughs> Stood up, was like, no, <laughs> not pee. <laughs> <laughs> so I've never had that experience before. My water broke with Zeke, but not not like this where I'm in, mm-hmm. Anyhow, <laughs> so that was pleasant. Uh, so it is three something in the morning. I uh, called my husband, because he's on duty. So like, he had one more night on, one more night. I couldn't have just, you know, okay, sorry. Um, he even teased me tonight and goes, he's like, well, traditionally this would be the night that you'd you'd go into labor because, you know, I still have work to do and I don't know, it was like teasing me about anything happening? I said, no. <laughs> so yes, called my husband, um, called my midwife, uh, she reminded, it's so helpful to have these people know what they're talking about. She goes, you know, was it clear? I was like, oh, didn't even think to check. Duh, yes, okay, cool, good. Uh, no contractions yet. Um, just, just some water breaking. Um, so I am working on filling the tub. Right now I've got the hose in there. It takes quite a bit of time to fill it and bring it up to temp. So we're doing that right now. Um, like I said, I called Jeremy, I called the midwife. I sent out a few texts because right now, I mean, your water can break and it can still be a while, but, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Nothing's happening right now. So I am getting um, the bed prepped, getting all my birth supplies out, like I'm getting ready uh, so that we're so that we're ready, which ironically is what I did today. I was trying to finish up filming my getting ready for baby video because I was like, gosh, I should really do this. Um, <laughs> and I didn't film the postpartum video at all yet, so sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to film my postpartum stuff video right now. I'm gonna work on having a baby. So, here we go. working on getting things prepped. I did something silly and because I was, it, I mean it was 2.30 in the morning, I was talking to my husband on the phone, he was trying to tell me how to start filling the tub. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I forgot to put the liner in and I had quite a bit of water in there before I realized. So now I'm draining the tub, um, which just goes to show you, it's actually not that big of a deal. It's pretty easy to do all by yourself. Um, draining the tub so I can quick dry it out and put the liner in before I start refilling it. And I am going to make one last guess right now. I'm very curious if this is a boy because with Zeke, my water broke. With the girls, it never did until I was like about ready to have them. So, just one of those things that make you go, hmm. So I guess my official guess as of this moment, uh, you know, before I pop this baby out sometime in the near future, is that we're going to have a little boy. gushing thing is like intense. I have never had my water break like this before where it's like, it's coming. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so uncomfortable. I'm like peeing myself all the time. It's pleasant, pleasant. Um, whew, uh, 4 4.30 in the morning. I'm not out of, out of breath because I'm having contractions. I'm out of breath because I've, you know, getting stuff ready. Awesome. Um, I have the tub filling 
it has to reach um, kind of like a midway point on the tub before you can turn the heater on. So just trying to really get it to that point so we can, um, or I can turn the heater on and get it all warmed up and stuff like that. But since it's filling right now, there's nothing, nothing I can do. Not really having any contractions, get a little sporadic one maybe here or there or whatever, nothing consistent. So I am going to go back to bed, lay down, see if I can get a little bit of sleep before things get started. We are at about 6.15. Um, I tried to get some sleep, but you know, between adrenaline and I did start some gentle contractions that are about 11 to 12 minutes apart right now, I think. Um, so there was no sleeping, but I did rest for the past um, like two hours, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. together and they weren't super intense either and because I'd gotten up at 2.30 I just knew definitely I needed to get some rest in there sometime. Um, so when I laid down on the couch just for a few minutes I could tell that if I laid down it seemed like the contractions would go away. Um, so I just felt like that was my body's way of telling me that I needed to take this time to rest. So my mom came and got my kids. Um, so they're five minutes down the road at her house so that Jeremy and I could both get some sleep since he was working all last night. I seem to have very bad timing with these things and uh, I always call him home from work. Um, so he is still sleeping. I got to snooze for quite a few hours and just be, I definitely feel much better now. Like I have, you know, more energy and I mean, who knows? You don't know how long this is gonna be. So that was good, got to rest, um, still leaking a little bit, just checked in with my midwife about um, you know, how I was feeling, stuff like that. So at this point, I basically am going to you know, continue on with normal life, uh, probably make some lunch for myself, and then just see what happens and if, when the contractions pick back up. <laughs> decently clean right now. Yep. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. You know, I'm just sitting around waiting for something to happen. So we're at about 6.30. I basically took a break this afternoon just from even trying to film anything because it gets a little discouraging when you're just waiting around and nothing's happening. <clears throat> so I kind of hung out this afternoon. I laid down for a little while. I putzed on my phone. Nothing much is going on. I still, or I, my contractions have started again. Um, they're coming about every 15 minutes, I think, and it's a it's a strong contraction. Like it's, you know, whoo, it's a solid one, um, but they don't last very long yet either. Um, so nothing, you know, that's gonna get us to the finish line right now. Uh, but as we're moving into the evening, I've touched base with my midwife again, and I will before I go to bed, just on um, what I'm thinking, how I'm doing that type stuff. The kids are coming home 
uh, for the night just because in my opinion they might as well sleep in their own beds um, and if they're here if we have the baby in the middle of the night and they're here that's not a big deal one way or another so had a nice dinner of salmon and green beans and still just waiting <laughs> All right, so to catch you up on what's been going on, not much. Um, this has been really weird. Um, I'm obviously in communication with my midwife and we're, you know, tracking things as best we can. But last night, um, the kids came home, we put them to bed. Jeremy and I ended up just watching a movie and then going to sleep. Um, contractions started for me again at about 2.30 in the morning. I don't know what it is about 2 a.m., but that's just my time, I guess. Um, and picked up probably around like five, um, and we're coming at about, um, half hour apart and lasting a minute and they're pretty strong, but, um, so I was, you know, thinking that would kind of continue this morning, but I feel like they're actually slowing down again and kind of tapering off now that I'm awake and moving around, which is odd because that's usually what, you know, uh, stirs them up. Um, so my kids are still here because at this point I don't feel the need to um, have them go somewhere when nothing much is happening and I'm hoping you know to help keep us active obviously I run around the house a little bit more while they're here so we're gonna get dressed this morning and go out for a walk try to get moving and see where today takes us it's hard not to get a little discouraged and frustrated um, I was so excited because this was like the closest I've ever been to my due date and being kind of like on time. Um, and so then to have everything kind of just be slow and like stalled out is, is it's really hard not to be um, frustrated just with what's, not what's going on, what's not going on. Um, um, so I was just thinking just now that I need to, you know, keep my mind right, not get grumpy and disappointed and stuff. And so, um, so yeah, I'm gonna work on having a good attitude today, even if we don't see anything happening. And I've just gotta trust my body that, you know, when these contractions come, they are helping me progress and go somewhere and get towards the end goal. So just praying that they start up again and continue and get us to the finish line. <laughs> hey, no, nothing exciting. I know, I know. I'm like, great, she's gonna get all excited that I'm calling and here's me just going. Um, so I guess I'm just wondering, you know, like, is there anything I can be doing, should be doing? Again, I laid down to rest and had two really strong, really strong contractions while I was laying down. Very painful. <laughs> and so now I've had a couple since getting up. Um, my midwife is on her way over anyhow because we were going to talk over um, the possibility of maybe using some uh, natural remedies, um, some homeopathic remedies to uh, try and get things moving or more consistent. So she was on her way over. Um, and my mom has my kids, um, so, so I think we're hopefully about to the point, I don't want to jinx myself, that we are going to have a baby sometime soon here, which, come on baby, I'm trying to time the contractions, so I'm carrying my phone around everywhere. So do you hear the two yeah. sounds? Oh, the swish. Yeah. Heartbeat. So a little cord here, so yeah. we'll just be watching. Could it have a cord? Could be just that it's bald right here. I think it's still more posterior based on 
There's the limbs right here. I just had a little kick right there. I don't think things are going to shut down now. Last minute, three minutes. Is that what you want to do is get in the tub? Can I, is it okay? Yeah, you can. I don't think it's going to stop. Okay, so do we need to be timing them anymore? Or? Only if you want to. Sometimes it's a nice distraction. Sometimes it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. Thank you. 
contractual? Okay. Well, baby's baby sounds little, good. Baby's kicking me. Yeah, her butt in the air. So. Yeah, I'm the one who took this crap. In the darkest hour. When I cannot breathe. He was on my chest. The weight of the world on me. Everything's crashing down. Everything I I can feel when my mind starts to creep into doubt On the days when the strength in my heart's getting loud There's a light that it hides from me deep in the clouds <laughs> There's a voice that I need but I don't hear <laughs> Oh, 
comes, let's put this foot so it's flat on the bed where your knee is, and your knee up in the, you know, up like your pose. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're doing great. Ah, Go ahead. Oh, get your baby. 
Oh. Get your baby. Oh, no. That's your baby. No. Time, Jeremy, to oh. open the watch, please. Oh, baby. Oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Oh. Good job, Oh. Welcome to the world. Yeah. You're just so happy, aren't you? <laughs> that papa was so snuggly, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Do you remember me, huh? Yeah. See, so you're the one who's been poking me all this time. Louder, don't I? Yeah, I was more muffled before, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, she's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Look at how long your fingers are, too. Yeah. 
we did it that was rough <laughs> it was rough the midwife said it as soon as we were over it was that was a lot but we did it she is here she's absolutely perfect I feel good and I'm tired I'm definitely tired but I feel good at this point um, everything's checking out normal everything looks good so we're gonna go to sleep I'm gonna be over here in baby la la land and yep I'm all done now